Hello everyone, Sia here. Today in Lumiapedia, we will be looking into Eternal Return 69's character, Lenny. Lenny is a playful girl that likes using her toys to prank her enemies and help out her friends. Each of Lenny's skills can grant buff to her allies and apply debuffs to her enemies, which is why you need to hit as many targets as possible to maximize your damage dealt and make your team much more stronger with every hit. Let's first talk about Lenny's skills. Her kick consists of the following Q, Care Bazooka, W, Wakamole, E, Air Horn Gun, R, Spring Lunge, and finally Passive, Teddy Bear Attack. Lenny's passive is Teddy Bear Attack. Upon hitting an ally with a basic attack, a teddy bear spawns on her target. When an ally who has received a teddy bear hits an enemy, the teddy bear flies away dealing additional skill damage. Dealing damage with teddy bear reduces the cooldown of Lenny's basic skill. Lenny's passive is Teddy Bear Attack. Every time she hits her allies with a skill, the teddy bear deals Lenny's damage, including the damage from her item's unique passive. That's why using items with unique passive like Leech's Grasp or Debilitation could be another option to create synergy in her play. Her next skill is Q, Carrot Bazooka. Lenny fires her Carrot Bazooka and is knocked back slightly. The Carrot back flies to the end of its range or explode if it hits an enemy or ally. The explosion deals skill damage to enemies and heals allies. Lenny's Q is Care Bazooka. This skill allows Lenny to heal her allies and deal damage to her enemies within range of the explosion. So it will be more effectively used when allies and enemies are engaging closely in fights. Her next skill is W, Wakamole. Lenny jumps up and smashes her melee on the targeted location, dealing skill damage and slowing enemies. Enemies hit in the center are slowed even more. Hitting an ally slows them for a short period of time and increases their movement speed. Lenny's W is Wakamole. Lenny planks her allies by slowing them with her mallet and then grants them movement speed, which is great for infiltrating or using main skills. Not only that, but the skill's vision range is quite long and it allows her to go over words, so it can also be used to move around the island more efficiently. Her next skill is E, Air Horn Gun. Lenny fires her Air Horn Gun, dealing skill damage to enemies and stunning them for a certain amount of time. Allies hits gain a shield. Lenny's E is Air Horn Gun. This stun, melee skill has a short casting time, but it's easy to use and it's good for countering your enemy's skills as well as to protect your allies by granting them a shield. You can also use it with the next skill, Spring Lunch to initiate fights instantly. Her last skill is R, Spring Lunch. Lenny starts the Spring Lunch, dealing skill damage to enemies hit and sending them flying in the targeted direction. Enemies that hit a war are slowed for a certain amount of time, Lenny flies away too, but her allies are not affected by the skill. Lenny's ult is Spring Lunch. You can use this skill to get lead up enemies approaching your allies or to move the main enemy DPS toward them. Not to mention that, using it through your allies will help your team deal even greater damage. Lenny is a lovely and playful test subject that may lack on her own, but can be really helpful when she is strategically played in teams. Whether it's by supporting her allies or blocking her enemy's skills, she can use the flow of the battle to her advantage. To be fair, she is very difficult since players need to coordinate their moves with the moves of their allies and enemies, but because she loves to play pranks on everyone, you will surely enjoy getting to know her. If you like play pranks and helping your friends, Lenny is the one for you. Lenny has joined our dimension as the 69th test subject and we hope you guys are excited for her. Once again, this was Sia, signing out. See you next time on Lumiapedia.